Doug Thompson here. We're in the shop, and a friend of mine has asked me to bend some half-inch round tubing for a little towel rack. So I'm going to show you my method using the Hossfeld bender. So I have it set up with one of the standard square blocks in a pin. I want that to be very close to my bending form. This is a bending form that I made. It has two round bars to support the tubing. The tubing does not hit the inner portion of that. The pressure will be on those bars. I've got uh, just a rolling die here. So I'm gonna put this in, kind of lock it in place. So we need less space here than on the rolling side because it'll lock in place. There are various strategies for doing that. Sometimes you weld a little something here or get a clamp. In this case, I don't think there's enough pressure to let it slip. What's really important is that the back end not slip forward because then the tube will kink immediately. So this has got to be held very securely. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bed. I'm going to gently pull on it. And I can see right away it's not going to move. And I'm going to just make about a 90 degree bed. Go a little bit past it. That looks pretty good. I'll open the bender up to clear it. This is about a, uh, that's about a two and a half inch centerline radius bend in a piece of half inch tubing with not a very sophisticated setup. 